Hey guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Been a sunny day today out there and I've got various things going on. I'll give you an overview of everything here today and then we'll do breakdowns on individual videos. But I'm starting out inside because uh, I've got the main project of the day has been off-grid work. I've got a uh, 500 watt mining rig running here on solar power. I've got the fan in the window sucking out on solar power. I've got the Bedini motor running here, restoring the battery on solar power. All this in here is completely off the grid on solar power. So we're pulling that energy as much as we can during the day when we're home. We use as much as we can suck out of that. Over here on my uh, solar power bank system here, uh, separate video on its own but I've got a another Arduino microcomputer this is a tiny little miniature computer all-in-one that's it right there and then this is my experimenter board I put on it and a digital display I'll explain all this in detail in a while in another video but what we got going on here is a tiny little microcomputer which is powered by the solar power coming in that's a 12 volt line and it is reading the 24 volt battery banks voltage level and then turns on and off a Ames DC AC to DC battery charger if needed in emergency if we were not home and we left something running on the solar power this will sense that and kick it on now just for today since it's pure sun I've got it turned off but I can show you I can block this day night sensor here the LED light should come on, yep, showing me that it was going to kick on that converter. If I had to switch on, which I have it off right now, again, it's only for emergency backup purposes. This is going to stay running always 24 7, but the power converter outside is only on when we're leaf power on, when we're not home, in case a cloud comes over to protect our battery bank from drain. For example, if I've got cryptocurrency mining or we leave the washing machine on, we go away for a bit and a storm comes in, we're too far from home to run back and catch it, this will kick that on and, and protect the battery bank. And that's all it's for. It does have a day-night sensor, so if I do have the power on, uh, like we go away for a couple days, I can leave that um, charger on. I'll go show you that in a minute. And once it becomes nighttime, as you can see it gets dark on that sensor it turns on the switch the switch itself is right here I'm still working on enclosing everything neatly there's no dangerous voltage levels here so don't worry um, the other side is completely sealed and enclosed and that's going to be bolted down out of reach so I'm still working on that today but that's all a separate video uh, for the most part I couldn't do all this because Melanie was playing music so I couldn't show you the actual work but just wrapping it up here but there's the computer and it is working it does do its job it's really amazing so if the battery voltage gets too low on a battery bank out there the solar power battery bank and we're not home this is going to kick on a charger to make sure that we don't lose our batteries again just for emergency I know a lot of people are going to complain but I like to have backups for emergency this is our outdoor kitchen this year Melanie has uh, set up, we got a grill for free, a charcoal grill, and she uses normal wood and some charcoal mixed. And she loves this. It reminds her of home, and she really loves it. This is where we've been cooking our meals. Whole, full, complete meals. Like I'm talking, um, for lunch today we had uh, milkfish stuffed with vegetables, we had rice, we had grilled um, mixed vegetables, and we had a um, sort of a salad thing. All the cooking was done right here. Every day, mostly most of the evenings when we're home, this is our outdoor kitchen. She loves it. Again, it reminds her of home. That's her option. And she loves it. She really loves this grill. And we eat right here. Melanie's got her, Michelle's got her toys out everywhere. But uh, here's where we've been eating. So our outdoor outdoor homestead kitchen right here in front of the chalet now. Over here, I've been working on the electronics. There's the Ames power. I took all the covers off and everything, and I've been doing the electronics work. 
I've got the Ames power battery charger here hooked up entirely um, I just threw this wiring together I didn't have the camera uh, I just wanted to get it done it's been bugging me for months that I wanted to get this on here honestly all I did is I ran two wires over to here the inverter has extra extra fat wires the inverter is only a thousand watts and those are from my um, nearly 4,000 watt inverter so the wires are big enough so I just jumpered off there and brought in two wires into the Ames charger and that is turned on and off by the microcomputer the little Arduino inside this thing is roaring right now because I've got a mining rig running on solar power purely on solar power right now off these solar panels so uh, but it's coming near the end of the day so I'm gonna have to shut that off we see the shadows here I'm gonna have to shut that down in a minute here but I'm giving you an overview of what we've done today just been running around all over the place but uh, and a lot of family time honestly today was a nice family day so I didn't have the camera with me so much I'm, I'm sure that's understandable Melanie and I have been on the go so much recently and I've just been coming out and picking here and there as I go so um, just giving an overview of everything right now anyway so this guy is a um, AC one it actually goes from 90 volts to AC input oh actually this one is 110 to 120 volts AC I thought it had a wider range and then it puts out 24 volts 12 or 24 volts DC to keep your battery banks topped off in case you need it which exactly I mean this is basically it's a 12 or 24 volt battery charger okay and I wanted it for exactly right here my off-grid homestead for what I explained no, no point in repeating that but there it is and thanks to Ames power for that device so the reason the lid is off is I'm redoing the cover and letting things air out here because it's been closed up forever so um, let me take you over there and show you what I've been up to on the the roof and the enclosure of this so out here in the yard I've got my roofing tire that I used on the camper and I've patched up it's been bugging me forever I've patched up the nail holes I had thought that by putting the nail holes on the high ridges that the rain wouldn't be able to get down inside but still it manages to get in there somehow on occasion on me so I have put my roofing tire in them and I've got these sitting out here to to cure uh, in the for the rest of the day tonight at sundown I'll put them back on but I wanted them out here for as long as they can sit and uh, I'll rebuild that battery box better than ever and leak free I know the little nail holes didn't get a lot of water in there but I don't like any water in my battery bank so we'll be fixing that up that's uh, definitely helpful now the uh, broken solar panels are on hold there's nothing going on here until eBay decides the case and uh, we'll see what happens there but there they sit since the day I last showed you I was testing voltages on them the um, camper project is on hold just sitting there I um, I'm not even doing anything in there at all right now it's all on hold I haven't even done any work on the inside since the last day I showed you the whole project is just sitting there waiting the four solar panels were pulling in about 100 to 130 watts together all four together and um, that was it so I did fire up a cryptocurrency mining rig on that one day I did have it running but I had to shut it down because the uh, solar panels were not put it put off uh, what is that a thousand watts of solar panels were putting out about 120 130 watts of power combined and I was draining the battery so that was the end of that so here they sit waiting for a judgment from eBay and I don't dare do anything else the rest of them are up against the house over here out of the weather waiting for a decision and that's where they've been since the day I measured them on video and showed you so that's it for that so Melanie and Michelle are picking blueberries we have all been picking blueberries heavily but The oh, they're huge this year. Oh, wow. For wild blueberries, that's incredible. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
Michelle been eating. Michelle's Michelle, do you like blueberries? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Michelle's been picking and eating blueberries on her own. Good There's job. one. Here. Pick this one up. There's some blueberries, Michelle. Get it you know I'm recording, don't you? Ah, oh, you're gonna be like that. Okay. The blueberries are incredibly fat and juicy this year. We've been picking a while already quite a bit, but um, not as much as we would like to have this year. Anyway, natural resources, there's a lot of good food going on here on our property. Well guys, I can finally put that away. I've held it there for, uh, what is it, two weeks now I think. That's been there. I won the eBay case. We settled actually. So the solar panels are ours to keep. Uh, just today I was saying that I wasn't doing anything with them since day one. And uh, now I can experiment on them. See if we can uh, get something useful out of them. But it'll be a project of experiments anyway. So they're here. So that'll be a video series. Anyway, that's settled. The uh, obviously return shipping would have been outrageous, so it just isn't worth it. They didn't want them back. I've been working out here. I've been using the uh, sickle, cutting the grass down, and I ran another set of wires. See if I can get around here without zapping myself in a funny place. Funny for you. So I've run another row of wires. I've come out here and gone over to here and I've run around the greenhouse around my uh, plants. I think it was a deer. I'm guessing it was a deer because that much devastation had to be a deer. And I ran around the, all the way over back to the greenhouse in and out. So the wire comes here and all the way around. So the back of the greenhouse is protected better. I will be going higher. I have to buy some fencing to go higher. I will do so and I will be protecting a greenhouse entirely. I also will run a lower wire below that to prevent anything from ducking over but it's getting late. It's after nine and um, eventually I have to call it a night. I'm exhausted. Gotta wash up for the night. But that'll at least slow it down. Putting the wires around the, the patch. Hopefully they can recover. I hope that they will recover. It's sad because we just had a period of rain which helped them and now they're stripped out right after the rain which is sickening. Um, this garden is a loss. Melanie is very sad. All her peas, there were some taller pea plants. Every, it's odd the animal came through and ate every one of our vegetable plants and left all the natural foods most of which are edible. There's a lot of natural edible foods here. Uh, the sweet potatoes were in touch though but still, very sickening that only our vegetables were stripped out and the deer just, I think it was a deer, just left everything else. So, hopefully it'll recover. Um, I'll just keep adding wires and closing in the gaps. Uh, my previous years, that always worked, but this deer here is determined, very, very determined to get our food. Um, not going to grow outside anymore. It's all going to be in a raised bed from now on. Next year and the years after. This is it. This will be our garden. I'll plant densely in here and that is it. Protected, sheltered, and covered. I'm done with, uh, you know, fighting nature. This is, I found to be very easy and extremely productive and a lot less work. I mean, it's just great. Also leaving the, the plants below the lip reduced uh, down a little bit is it helps protect the roots and protect the soil from drying out uh, makes a big difference the only negative side effect I think is that they don't get airflow as well so I guess we'll see if that's a benefit or a problem alright guys well and that's it going in for the night this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project learning what works on the homestead and what doesn't? And improving our lifestyle better and better every year. And I can't wait to get the trim wood on like that. It's going to look beautiful. Alright, please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos.